Spooky Witch House. <laughs> What is up, dogs? It's Cameron of Venus Theory. My background has changed because I bought a thing to put stuff on, so now I can't put my camera there. So that's why that's different. Anyways, we are here to make a witch house style base today. This is something that was deceptively tricky to do. Um, I thought this was a pretty simple sound to make, but once I kind of started experimenting with it, it turned out it was like, you know, a lot of really subtle things to get these types of bases to sound right. So I thought I would share this with you guys today since I've been using this sound a lot with my own music recently. And I think it's something that would work really, really well in other styles like, you know, garage and drum and bass and even some narrow music I could hear this being used in. So let's dive into Cubase and get started. Okay guys, so we're here and ready to get started with the Witch House bass. So if you're not familiar with Witch House, I really recommend checking out that whole genre. I was like obsessed with it for like a couple of years in like junior high and early part of high school. And I still listen to a lot of it today because it's really inspiring to me just with how atmospheric and moody it is. And it is like a, a huge influence on the type of electronic music I make. So um, I, I've kind of started utilizing this uh, similar bass sound in my own music recently and stuff we've been working on. And uh, like I mentioned in the intro, it's, it was weird because I, I thought it was a lot easier to make than it was because Witch House uh, Reese's have this kind of dirty and lo-fi quality to them. And that was really very difficult to capture with just, you know, detuning saws and kind of throwing on the general processing. So the one plugin... Uh, oddly enough that I found did this very very well is waves element so um, we can go ahead and take a look here and talk about how this is set up and you should be able to recreate this in any synth um, but I just I don't know I tried and waves element just really did this right so I've got two saw waves they're both set down an octave uh, sign mod is enabled uh, 3.5 here I'm not sure what value that is uh, FM on oscillator 2 here is at 16.5. The mix is about 50-50. It's set to mono. Uh, legato is enabled with portamento of about 250 milliseconds. Uh, somewhere around there it generally works. Unison is enabled, which uh, just creates more detuned voices for uh, element here because it only has two oscillators. But if you just up your voices in serum or whatever, that should be very similar. Uh, I've enabled a bandpass at 12 decibels per octave here. I have turned down the keyboard tracking, and this is important with Element. If it's all the way up here, the filter will move around as you play different notes, but setting it all the way down allows you to create automation and stuff like that, or just keep the filter where it is if you want a low-pass filter that stays at that same cutoff point across the entire keyboard. Uh, distortion is enabled here to about 20% set to the pre-mode. And then EQ uh, boosted at 100 hertz, didn't touch 600. 1500 is boosted by a little bit. And uh, I think this is 9000, but my eyes are bad. Uh, this is uh, boosted by about 4 dB. The amplitude uh, here is being changed a little bit. Sustain is all the way up, but attack and release are set up to about uh, 60 milliseconds or so. This softens the initial attack and just lets it release a little more naturally. However, um, in playing with these types of sounds, I've found that sometimes using a very hard attack, especially with punch enabled, can be very good. And sometimes you need a really soft attack. It really just comes down to the track. Other than that, that's all that's going on in Element. So basically some detune saws, a bandpass filter, and a little bit of crunch. Oh, uh, there's also chorus here. This is mixed in at 30%. And this was just to widen everything out a bit because the chorus in Element is kind of cool. So processing wise without all of this stuff this is the base from element and a little bit of automation here on the cutoff but you can hear it instantly kind of has that really dirty crappy synth feel to it which was really really nice it reminds me of like the old moog synths um in terms of processing so quite a bit um had to be done before i really figured out these bases so uh, in terms of processing, tube compressor here, uh, driven pretty hard, character all the way up, or 80%-ish, uh, and mix all the way up. Output is uh, driven up hard, and input is, I think it's shaven off about 10 dB of gain. Oh, uh, 14. So, yeah, something like that. Some kind of compressor is good. 
Next up, Fab Filter Saturn. Warm tube, warm tape, and warm tape. Uh, driven about 50%, 50%, and then about 70-ish. Cloner. So this is something I've been starting to use a lot more. Um, this is a multi-voice chorus, and it works really, really well um, because chorus before distortion just tends to work and create that kind of nice ripping thing. Four voices, 22% mix, uh, detune and delay are turned down a bit. I think the default value is 50. And I've turned off static delay and static detune. This allows it to kind of randomize. So the humanize function here, or knob, uh, allows you to just control the amount of randomness. But I highly recommend getting rid of static detune and delay. So that all runs into Quadrifuzz 2, which is Cubase's built-in multiband distortion. Uh, very similar to Trash but very different um, because it's basically just using uh, the Cubase default distortion things, but in a multi-band way. They might be slightly different. However, I haven't really checked into that. So a little bit of tape saturation on the low end. Uh, tube on the second mode here, which is two tubes, and then there's three tubes. So two tubes on the low mids. Uh, the high mids here is tube, the one tube driven up a little harder. So two, oh, actually low mids are a little higher. So about four here about four here about three here and then on the top i've used tape and driven that up all the way which helps to bring out some kind of high-end hiss and noise this all runs into vintage compressor and this is about 8 db of gain reduction so once you set that up it should sound about like this which you can hear all this really starts to bring it together but cloner and quadrifuzz were really the key because without those doesn't really sound as good. Cloner really opens it up. And Quadrifuzz really grabs it by the balls. This all goes into an EQ here, uh, dipping out a little bit at about 200 hertz, boosting around 70 or 80. Uh, that just helped to bring up that really low low. And boosting at about 6 or 7k up here by a little bit. Uh, very subtle EQ, but this just helped to brighten it up and give it a bit of weight. After that, this runs into our verb. This is a hall reverb, uh, about two or three seconds of decay time, 30% wet dry mix. So as I move this filter around, this reverb really, really helps to accentuate the movement. Then this all runs into another EQ, a little bit of boost, a little bit of boost, uh, nothing too crazy. This was optional. This was just done after I'd put everything else in this track here just to kind of help it in the mix. Uh, finally, this runs into NLS channel stereo in the Nevo mode, driven really, really hard, and this is what the bass ends up sounding like. So it's a very, very mean and dirty bass, and in the context of a track, this is what the bass sounds like. So all in all, a very, very cool bass, and I was really happy with how it turned out. Plus, I mean, I've always wanted to really get into Witch House myself, and, you know, kind of unlocking that bass sound really, really helped and opened up a lot of new sonic territory that I've been exploring in our new stuff. So other than that, uh, this should help you to get started with making these types of basses. And that's it for this video, guys. So thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. As always, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again soon.